And ladies and gentlemen, uh, right before the break, this fight just broke out between uh, King Kong and, and Walter. These guys have been fighting all the way through the break. And they've seen a huge vicious kick by King Kong. Well, you saw how this matchup came about earlier on. We saw Isabella flirting, so to speak, with uh, with King Kong. We didn't see where they uh, went, but uh, Walter was able to find him. And he found himself in this situation fighting for his woman's honor. You know, and, and, and you got to know that, uh, that Isabella has probably been just reacting to the rumors that she's been hearing that Walter's been with your daughter, Jordan Strong, who's going to be in our main event up next. You know, as soon as we come from this, but oh my gosh. You know, like I said, man, you know, they asked me how I felt about that whole situation. Walter is winning this guy out. They asked me how I felt about that situation. And I, I simply said, hey, man, you know, Jordan Strong is a very grown woman, man, a very mature woman, and so is Walter, man. And I think that they can handle themselves. In my opinion, I believe that Isabella just may be overreacting, man. Oh, man, well, in any event, these guys are in a brawl and a, a German suplex. Oh, by the rehired A-Man Nation member King. Oh, the power bomb right into the into that locker. And Walter is absolutely no stranger to uh to being in this type of matchup. My goodness. This gentleman Bobby will be joining us just momentarily. He's on his way out here, but recovering from his matchup. What a great title defense. Still, we have seen no title change. Well, I, actually, uh, you can say that Bobby and, and Bebo are the new uh, world tag team champions. It's up to them whether whether or not they want to give up those titles or, uh, or you know, keep them. Oh, man. It, Wait a minute. What? Ladies and gentlemen, I just not got I just not got word from from one of my sources that David B Boy says that as far as he's concerned, he is one half of the tag team champions. He did not uh, win those tag team titles for best. He won it for himself, and he's gonna keep his uh, tag team title and just give him back the bronze one, man. Well, that, does that mean that Bobby is gonna be tag team champions with two different people? Apparently, man. Apparently, he wants to get some kind of recognition. And oh my God, Walter just just threw this guy through the darn through the darn wall. Man, we need to get somebody back there, man. And what an exciting night it has been! Some exciting matches, and we just got an all-out brawl going on backstage. Ain't no submissions, no kind of pinfalls or nothing. Just a fight. You gotta imagine that Isabella probably went somewhere to, to get some help, but by the time she come back, it'll probably be too late, JJ. Oh man, look at this. Oh, Walter just balling up his fist. You see, you see the reaction? Just punched it right into a man's face. This is just crazy, man. Oh man, King Kong misses with that steel chair. Both of these guys got a chair now. Always over a woman, man. Oh man, well, you know this situation was just bound to escalate, man. Oh man, and watch out! Oh, he just cut King Kong with that that guitar shot. This is crazy. Man, it's just an absolute brawl, ladies and gentlemen. As we said, oh man. Walter is playing for you, New York Knicks, and that could, that's a sidelining injury right there. But Walter is definitely a fighter. You know, speaking of Walter being in the NBA, man, you know, he's got a he's got a reputation here on XTV, man. I mean, he's a whole lot bigger than those guys out there on the court, and he takes that intimidation factor on the court. You know, and uh, I understand that he he's been known to intimidate a whole lot of those guys on the NBA squads. That does not come as a surprise to me at all. You can see the size difference though between he and King Kong. Walter absolutely not phased by the size of any man. Earlier on you heard him in, uh, right before the break calling him a, 
Action figure looking motherfucker. I quote. Look at that haymaker man by King Kong. And Bobby, welcome, welcome back, man. Congratulations, dog. What's up, fellas? There you have it, man. Bobby, once again, overcoming. Bring it on. Bobby, you just not defeated the, the legends, the demolition. Hey, man, just another notch to add on my belt. Those guys are tough. Oh, man, look at this. Oh. Man, I, I heard about this fight that was going on. And it's just crazy to come out here and see this. This is going on next door, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh. Apparently this, oh my God, look at that big, huge shoe. Sounds like 15 or 16. King Kong just mushing the face of, oh, of Walter. And there's that diving famous. Oh man, well this matchup is just a few moments from being over then. If he hit him with that, with that famous, and look at this. Oh. And I'm surprised that Walter is not knocked out from that. After King Kong just hit hit his move, Walter still got more fight left in him. You can't be surprised, man. Walter, one thing about him, he never quits. He never wants to quit. He never thinks about quitting. You know, and it, you know if he loses, like like he like in his mind, you know we might see him lose like a pinfall victory or something like that as one, two, three. But to him, he doesn't see it that way. He sees it like, you know something to come back from you know he only he only counts wins and he doesn't count losses and uh you, you definitely got to admire that about this guy who's defending his girl's honor but this time you know she wasn't the uh proverbial damsel in distress she was actually provoking uh th this whole situation to happen by you know flirting with uh king kong well you know me and jj strong were just talking about that and you know, JJ Strong says she may be, she may be overreacting, but you know, I mean, that's naturally what what a woman thinks. You know, when she sees you hanging out that closely with another woman. Yeah, well, you know, I've talked, I've talked to Walter, man, and you know, he says that Isabella no, never comes to any of his games or anything like that. He says that she could bring the kids. You know, he says that she uses those kids as an excuse to, to not come to his games. Uh, he says that she's not very supportive of anything that he does and those are the uh, struggles that they have and he says that Jordan Strong gives him a whole lot of support and you know we already talked about how you know she says that or, or Walter says that he's you know uh, he admires that she was able to overcome the odds in the best of seven series which he's right now any best of seven series with the Miami Heat and you know he's uh, looking for a chance to be in the uh, NBA finals so it, it's just a whole lot of drama and uh, just a whole lot of different opinions going on. And look at this now, as Walter just throws King Kong into that dirty clothes hamper. Man, a, a very dazed and prone King Kong. Walter wants more as he's building up intensity here. King Kong was definitely kicking Walter's ass in the beginning moments. We saw Walter throw King Kong into that uh, into that wall. Let's, let's take another look at that. You see Walter just grabbing, oh man, just crashes him to the wall. It's just incredible to not be back here at live action. As Walter continues to fight, you gotta admit that King Kong has uh, been the dominant one in this. Walter's on the comeback trail here. Oh! And I can hit that thing all the way out here, man. He just popped him with that, that title belt. It looks like the 80s got championship, man. The 80s got a current world champion. Representing the XTV West Side. Oh, no one. This could be over. Oh. The Ghetto Blaster just finished off King Kong. He's out. 